sixth generation fighter jets may arrive sooner than we thought, the wars of the future may be something we have seen only in fiction. Those days are gone when long development cycles were enormous. Now innovations cannot wait for 25 years to take shape. NGAD program will adopt a rapid approach to developing small batches of fighters with multiple companies. NGAD stands for Next Generation Air Dominance. According to Will Roper new methodologies like designing, assembling, testing in the digital world can transform the fighter jet development. In the future, all the branches of M-Forces may not look for a common solution like they have done in the case of F-35. Because of the long development cycle by the time an aircraft is fully functional, in the Army, new technological development makes it obsolete for the current warfare. On the 15th of September Will Roper, Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics, informed the country about a super-secret project. But until now everything which Will Roper said was in the virtual world. Then Will Roper said, the NGAD has come so far that the full-scale flight demonstrator has already flown in the physical world. It's broken a lot of records. A number of mission systems have also been flown on test articles after being put through their paces in a digital environment. According to Roper, they are coming along very well. But what are the capabilities we can expect from a fighter jet of the sixth generation? To avoid repetition we will concentrate on the capabilities, which are not part of fifth generation planes which we already have. And as Will Harper's word are very cryptic. It may mean so many things, moving ahead the Swiss Army knife approach may not be the best option. So we already may be aware of six generation planes, in case it is not a single machine, but a combination of multiple planes, which participate in war as a combination. But what type of weapons can be part of six generation fighter jets? We will take glimpse of all the mighty weapon systems which are being developed for the US Army. But before that, if you have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon. U.S. Air Force has been developing Loyal Wingman program for quite some time. This program will manufacture fighter companion drones to fight beside fighter planes. The XQ-58 of Valkyrie Demonstrator, a long-range, high subsonic unmanned air vehicle, completed its inaugural flight March 5, 2019 at Yuma Proving Grounds, Arizona. The Air Force is assessing whether it can use the Skyborg artificial intelligence technology. It is creating to allow an F-35 or F-15EX pilot to control drones like the XQ-58 Valkyrie. Boeing Air Power Teaming System is another such program. Under this program, Boeing is developing the Loyal Wingman Military Combat Drone. This program has come a long way in a very short period of time. This program has come a long way in a very short period of time. You can consider Loyal Wingman a fighter jet without a cockpit. Along with the drone or man fighter jet, it can go on missions. Fighter-like performance, in a range of 2,000 nautical miles. No armament has been announced, but it will carry electronic warfare systems, and sensor packages for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. With advanced artificial intelligence each plane works autonomously, yet they can work towards a collective goal. Royal Wingman has a modular design, which allows mission-specific capability to each plane. So Loyal Wingman is the perfect companion on the missions, it has all the fifth generation capabilities, yet it leaves room for future modifications as, swappable nose allows ultimate freedom. This September Loyal Wingman aircraft has fired up its engine for the first time. A recent demonstration video from Lockheed Martin has demonstrated the concept of laser weapons on the fighter planes. Lesser weapons will be able to neutralize the threat from land and sky. The demonstration video you can see how the threat detection system works, and how the enemy's missile can be destroyed by accompanying laser pods. Laser Weapon, Batter Threat Detection System, AI-based cooperation between unmanned and manned fighters. 
hypersonic missiles are another addition that can be part of the sixth generation fighter jets. DARPA is developing the Gremlins program to develop drone swarming systems. Gremlins is an air recoverable reusable platform, enabling an array of emerging technologies to be taken into the operational field and collaborate with one another. These technologies include secure jam-resistant line-of-sight communications, sensing payload suites that can be cooperatively blended to accomplish complex mission objectives, Autonomous capabilities that let swarms of unmanned systems operate together with minimal supervision. And technologies that determine locations in denied environments. Gremlins vehicles are designed to be launched from pylons or rotary launchers. Thus bombers fighters, or even cargo aircraft can insert them into a mission. Gremlins includes reusable, unmanned aerial vehicles that allow manned and more expensive unmanned aircraft to stand off at a safe distance from contested areas. Once their mission is complete Gremlins air vehicles return to manned airborne platforms. The Gremlins recovery system includes complex innovative technologies. These allow the air vehicles to safely dock in flight and be secured in rapid succession for aerial recovery. A towed stabilized capture device lowers below and away from the manned aircraft. The air vehicle then docks with the capture device much like an airborne refueling operation man operator control stations. November 2019 when an X610 was carried in a captive carry test followed by a free flight that lasted over 90 minutes. In the second test, the Gremlin system demonstrated the ability to safely air launch a Gremlin, which was then ground recovered after a two-hour flight. During the flight, the vehicle performed rendezvous and autonomous formation station keeping maneuvers with a C-130 Hercules transport, keeping itself at a distance of 125 feet. Though a C-130 is being used in the test, the final recovery system will be easily modified to fit other aircraft. This will allow operational drones to be retrieved in the air, returned to base, and refurbished for a new mission within 24 hours. When the technology is fully matured, the Gremlin system will be able to launch a swarm of drones from a wide variety of military aircraft, allowing the manned aircraft to remain out of range of enemy fire while the drones go in with a payload of sensors weighing up to 150 pounds. In modern warfare, directed high-frequency microwave may be a big weapon against sophisticated electronics. In October 2012, Boeing tested CHAMP missile. CHAMP is right out from the science fictions. Test was conducted in Utah Desert at Hill Air Force Base. There was no explosion and no flying shrapnel. There was only the sound of the missile's engine as it flew overhead and the sputtering of sophisticated computers crashing as they were hit by a beam of high-energy microwaves. CHAMP, stand for Counter Electronics High Powered Microwave Advanced Missile Project. CHAMP is similar to electromagnetic pulse bombs. The difference is that where an EMP weapon uses a nuclear warhead, or an explosive shot through a wire coil to generate a pulse over an area, the Boeing CHAMP missile aims a precise beam of high-energy microwaves at a target, or multiple targets, as it flies over. This technology marks a new era in modern-day warfare, said Keith Coleman, CHAMP program manager for Boeing Phantom Works. In the near future, this technology may be used to render an enemy's electronic and data systems useless even before the first troops or aircraft arrive. As the missile flew over in a pre-programmed course, it blasted the building with microwaves. In seconds, the computers and other electronics inside were knocked out, and even the cameras to record the test were rendered inoperative. That day, seven targets were hit and their electronics were disabled by the microwave beam before the missile flew to an undisclosed location and returned to Earth. <laughs>